Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Amy, I'm Amy Louise. I'm a professional trained makeup artist of 13 years and today I'm going to show you how to do this grungy autumn look. Honestly, I know technically not in autumn yet, but we're getting close. TK Maxx has a Halloween stuff in, it's almost time for pumpkin spice latte, Starbucks, it is getting the time and autumn is so like short lived in the UK. I feel like I need to prepare for it before it gets here so that I can fully appreciate it when it does get here because I swear it's like two weeks and then it's like soggy and horrible and just like pure winter. Um, it's literally like summer, we have two weeks of autumn and then it's like straight into like horrible, soggy, rainy cold winter um i love autumn like it is my favorite season it is the perfect just like it's not too hot it's not too cold the air is crisp the leaves are crunchy you have the best flavors of everything coming out i love autumn i love autumn so much i hate winter i hate winter with a passion um i'm a winter baby as well so like winter ruined every single birthday I ever had because I could never have an outdoor party and all I wanted was an outdoor party for my birthday growing up and I never got to have one because I was born in December so I'm gonna show you how to do this look because I'm excited and I'm using the Juvia's Place Zulu palette this I can't even open it this palette is gorgeous and I'm literally using three shades out of here but this is what I'm using. You don't have to use this as long as you have a brown, a yellow and an orange then you're good to go. Okay so I'm starting off with the brown in the palette. Like I said any like brown, yellow and orange will work and I'm going in with a JS12 brush. Okay so my eye is primed as always and I'm just going to pack this brown right on into my crease. I'm keeping it quite rounded and I'm not taking it right to the inner corner but I am packing it on in there. So you should have it looking something like this. I still want to be able to see it above my crease because I have hooded eyes but I don't want it to be like just like straight above. I want it right in there. So next I'm taking a Morphe M456 and I'm taking the orange and you can see it is a pretty like a very strong orange um and honestly when you put orange and brown together they just turn into autumn um i love it so all i'm going to do is i'm going to play this half on half off blending between the two that's all i'm doing i'm not taking any further i'm literally just getting half on half off i want them to blend so i'm going to first off hat right on over the edges and then taking the edge of the brush in small circular motions I'm just going to blend between the two. Okay so I have this, I'm going to take that same brush and I'm just going to go into the yellow, same brush. I'm just gonna pack that right on that like gap that we have right at the front now this is not gonna stay bright yellow but it's a good place to plop it down so that it's easier for later for when we're blending the next step okay I'm taking a Morphe M441 any big fluffy brush will do and we're using that orange the exact same orange again now you're gonna get two very different effects using two different brushes one is more compact and like firm it's not firm it's still a fluffy brush but it's smaller it's firmer than this so that brush is going to give a real punch of color you're going to be able to pack on a little bit more while still blending this is just pure blending it is big it's fluffy it's not like very structured we want that because it's going to give a dispersion of color so i'm going to go in with the nice big fluffy brush with that same orange and we're going to blend all the edges and I'm gonna to start to wing it out. So 50% on, 50% off, circular motions from the inner to the outer. 
And then when you get to the edge, you can just kind of flick out. I'm now going to take a separate end for, for one and I'm taking the yellow again and we're just going to do the exact same thing and just get those edges. And then a completely empty brush, I mean it was completely clean before I did my other eye. It has got nothing on it, I'm just going to take this and just get those edges just to blend into the skin just a little bit more and I'm not too bothered about making a mess down here because I can easily easily clean that up okay from here we're gonna go back to the beginning we're gonna go in with the browns do all the previous steps again like it's gonna re-intensify it's gonna work on the blood it's gonna end up blurry smooth and that is what we want so let's let's go and do that Okay, so we are at this point. I'm going to take a JH45. It is a flat but fluffy brush. This is a Morphe Jaclyn Hill brush. I'm going to take that brown and just sweep it right across that lid. Okay, so you should end up with something looking like this. I'm going to quickly change my battery and then I will be right back to finish off. Okay, I'm back. So I'm going in with the P. Louise Fresh Ink. If you don't have this, you use a regular pencil liner or a gel liner. It's good in the waterline. So whatever you like to use in the waterline. I do really enjoy these. They stay put all day. They don't smudge. They don't end up halfway down my face because, oh my gosh. I have like really oily, like I, well I have really oily skin anyway and things just like to transfer because of that. So I'm just applying this to the waterline itself and then just a little bit below, just like between the hair, like the lash line. Now I'm taking a Morphe M508, it's just a small flat kind of stubby brush and I'm taking that brown shade again literally just three shades for this so i'm just gonna tap into that and i'm gonna smudge out below my eye with this so right on top of the black that i just smudged below my eye and start to blend that out get that smoky dark grungy just gorgeousness i feel like autumn you can really just go whole panda eye and just really embrace like that and a uh, indie kid from your teen years you can really just go for it you can go for it all year round but in winter or autumn i feel like you can really go for those dark under eyes and then i'm taking a morphe m562 it's just a really small fluffy brush and that orange shade again and i'm just gonna blow right underneath all of that just really work that in now I am going to come back to the lower eye area because I'm going to clean up and then I'm going to do my face and then we're going to go back in just to really like blow it out but um not yet because I've got like foundation and stuff to do so I'm just going to take a well this is um the glove um, I think it's like the mask remover. I got this in um, a subscription box. I've just got a little bit of my cellar water on there and I'm just gonna clean up those edges. Mascara at top and bottom and then I'm putting on some lashes. I'm putting on a pair, I don't know what they're called. I know they're from Doll Beauty, but just ones that flare out on the edge and what are gonna work for this look. Okay, lashes are on. Now what I will do is I will figure out what lashes these are and I'll put them in the description box down below. It was just on my desk, I do have the box somewhere. So if you're interested in finding out what the lashes are, it'll be in the description box down below with discount codes and links to products that I'm using. So I am gonna go ahead and do a base. I'm not doing anything crazy. I'm literally taking my son to soft play today. So I'm not gonna go crazy. Um, I'm like in a little summer dress that I got from Shein. I'm not 
one in like a two mental and I've really been enjoying just like my skin at the minute so I'm gonna go in with the Rimmel Fresher Skin which honestly is my like every single day like without fail like this is what I'm using I was using shade 010 light porcelain but I, I've tanned a little bit and I'm using 300 sand now there is a big jump between the two shades but I use such a small amount that I can get away with with this being a lot darker like I literally just use like a little bit and then oh, I do a little bit down there and that's all I use um so I can get away with with this because it is, I'm using such a tiny amount I'm gonna go in with the bronze whip by Primark I absolutely love this and honestly I feel like this kind of look you just want to be like bronzed and beautiful um maybe like pure skin but then go like heavy on the bronzer so I'm just gonna go bronze up my face I'm gonna go in with MUA uh, Makeup Academy's blushed liquid cream clean cream blush in misty rose this is like my everyday go-to as well so just a little bit on the backs of my cheeks a little bit on my nose what a look <laughs> and then i'm gonna take my curly air spun i love this stuff like oh, i love it i just like to use the puff that came with it i'm just gonna powder my face pretty lightly and then using a big fluffy brush just to buff out like that product like really buff it into my skin i don't want anything sitting on top of my skin i just want it to look like skin if that makes sense like i like to just really work my products in and dust any excess product off so that there was no product on the brush just blending what was on my skin from using the puff in and off does that make sense i hope that makes sense two of my go-to like daily products you will see these listed on like pretty much every purse i'm sorry i love them is the l'oreal bronze paradise this is in the shade 01 temptation i don't want it to be like super bronzy but i still want it to be bronzy and then the lighter peach by l'oreal um blush i love this and it smells like peach so i'm just gonna do these quickly um like i said this is a light bronzer but it works so well for me it's pigmented it's not too pigmented it's not ashy it's not too warm it's not too cool i love it the lighting is making it look a lot harsher than it is it's really not um and then i'm going in with the doll uh pretty little glow highlighter by doll beauty and this is like a pink gold reflect so i feel like that is stunning for this look I'm going to go in with this MAC lipstick if I can get into the box. This is Simply Smoked. It is kind of like a grey tone brown and uh, I really like this. That's it. I really like this. I'm pretty sure that this lip colour is not available anymore but if you can find it anywhere and you love like these cool tone browny kind of grey looks like these lip looks oh my gosh get it i love this like i feel like i don't wear this enough but when i do i like fall head over heels for it and just like for wearing masks and stuff i've not really been doing lips to be honest i've not really been doing face um that much but oh, i love it anyway so back to the the star of the show is the eye so all i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go back in with the brown and the orange shadows that we used just before we did the base um in the exact same way i'm not gonna add the black but you know going in with the brown so i'm just gonna smoke those out again and really just blend them out and just give them a pop of punch again because once I've put my base on it kind of got lost a little bit 
going in with my orange and connect it up to that wing and then I'm just going to take that highlight that I used on my face oh, what the hell is that? um <laughs> she had some like random red stuff on my cheek and I'm just going to pop that on the inner corner and that is going to bring just all this into this and because it's got that like pinky gold reflect it really works because with the orange it looks more orange than pink and I'm gonna drag it slightly on my lower lash line too just because I think it looks cool honestly no reason I think it looks cool um, so I'm doing it because <laughs> that's the kind of person I am. If this doesn't give you like major like 90s autumn grunge, then uh, I, I, it does me basically. It gives me massive 90s autumn grunge vibes. I'm just gonna quickly add in my moles. Well, not add in, but like re-intensify them because they kind of get lost in all the makeup. And I like my moles. Okay, I'm gonna go away, do something with my hair because this is currently what it looks like and it needs it needs something doing with it, honestly. I think I need another haircut. Um but yeah, I'm gonna go do my hair and I will be right back to show you the finished look. Okay guys, this is the finished look. What do you think? Do you love it? Do you hate it? What do you think of the lift? Like oh, the lips my favorite part honestly it's just like one of my favorite lipsticks um uh, but yeah this is the finished look it is cute it is autumnal i don't feel like it is that like in your face <laughs> am i wrong like i don't feel like it's that that like vibrant and like uh, but yeah, this is the finished look. Let me know what you think down below. Do you love these kind of looks? I love these kind of looks. I love these kind of grungy army looks. Uh, but yeah, this is everything for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. Please leave a comment down below telling me any looks that you want to see me do. Any tutorials you want to see or reaction videos even. Anything down below. Let me know. And I will see you on the next one. Bye.